Hey subscribers and watchers, what's up? This is Vivs from Slidenerd here. All work and no play makes Zack a dull boy. All theory and no examples is also gonna make you a dull boy. So let's take a look at an example of async task, try to understand how we can use it. Now this is a simple example. In the previous video, we were talking about async task and you guys remember that we had a lot of theory behind it and you guys were like, oh my god, when is this gonna stop? But finally, let's take a look at how we can use it. So here inside Eclipse, I have nothing great. This is a class main activity that extends action bar activity. There's the huge string array over here that you guys instantly notice. And there's a list view. If you go to the layout, this is what it looks like. It's basically a list view and nothing great. You go to the code inside for the XML layout. You have a relative layout and a list view. There's an ID, list view one and nothing else other than that. Close the file over here, the XML one. We don't need to understand much about it. There's a set content view and then there's the list view initialized over here. The next thing I'm going to do is set an adapter for this list view. So I'm going to go here, say main list dot set adapter. It's going to be new array adapter. You know very well how ad array adapters work. They require three parameters. The first parameter is the context. In our case, it's going to be the activity. The second parameter is a layout file that defines how every single element inside the list view is going to look like. That's going to be android.r.layout.simple.list.item1. Now again, I've talked about all of these things in my other videos on list view and stuff. If you guys are not sure about that, please go back and check them out. The third parameter is actually an array. Here, I'm going to pass an empty array by saying new array list. And I'm sure you guys are aware of the array list class. It's from java.util which lets you have an array of any type. Now the array adapter is going to be of type string. In other words, it's going to hold anything that is basically a string. The same with array list, it's going to have generics inside. It's going to be of type string. In other words, when we write this diamond box here, what we are saying is this array list should contain only string objects inside it. That's the whole idea. So at this point, the main list has been initialized and created. Now, what I want to do is I've kept the array list empty over here if you guys notice. I want to add all these items one by one to our list view inside a background task which is our async task and let that do the work of adding or modifying the list view. So how do we do this? Very simple. First go here say class my task extends async task. The first thing you gotta do is subclass it. Now at this point it's gonna put three things here as a beginner you're very confused about what they are put void and all of them for now we will see what to do with them later just add a bracket press control one add unimplemented methods and as you can see there's only one method that actually needs to be implemented which is void do in background now notice the return type of this void it's nothing but the third parameter that we have and the params is nothing but the first parameter that we had here which is actually passed inside doing background. Now other than that there are certain methods like on pre-execute, there is on progress update. Now any other method inside the class actually runs on the main thread. Only do in background is the only method that runs in the background thread. So how do we use this structure to do our work? Now there's a super dot blah 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 you don't need that anywhere can just remove it all the places notice where I have created the class my task it's actually inside the class main activity why would I do this because inside the class my task I require access to the list view and its adapter so that I can modify it by adding the strings here to add the strings it's very simple you can go here make a for each loop by saying for string item from text over here so as you see this is the text string array we have and then there's four string item text so each item needs to be added for that i can directly call publish progress here and i can do the value of work of adding things here now inside the publish progress method i want to pass my string item or the current item so the second parameter is going to be modified here to a string in this case that makes this one a string as well in other words what arguments do you require for performing your background task you require no arguments in our case we have put a void here now what values are you gonna use when you're updating the progress is it an integer is it a float 
are you using a progress bar do you need to put 5 out of 100 6 out of 100 7 out of 100 if that's the case you should have on progress update with integer values but in our case here we are passing a string item to publish progress so on progress update will be called inside which we get access to that current value so here we can set the value now what do I do to set the value first I need to get the adapter from the list view I'm gonna say main list dot get adapter now publish progress will be called many times inside a for loop and each time getting the adapter is not such a great idea so what I can do is I can go and do this at the top inside on pre execute here I can say main list dot get adapter and here I can make a variable that says array adapter type string and I can call that variable adapter here and this can be equal to your adapter again I need to type cast it and bam it's done so put a private here so now that I have access to the adapter what can I do I can say adapter dot add string object I can add the item directly now what you see in the parameter list here is actually an array of string objects in other words it expects that an array will be delivered at the maximum but here when you call publish progress you're just passing one single item which is actually the first item in this array so you can say values of zero over here and that pretty much takes care of your array stuff so the code inside on pre execute will be run on main thread first then doing background will run where things will run in the background thread from the background thread you will call publish progress with the current item this method will be called which is on progress update but this will run on the main thread where you will get the adapter add the items to the list view and ultimately when everything is over your on post execute will be called where you're actually supplied void result which is the third parameter that you have here now remember this is gonna take a little bit of time if you're beginners to try and understand this because a lot of things go here and things are a little tricky but as we work more examples as I assure you this is not the only example of facing task the next video is another example so you guys will be pretty clear about it so inside the on post execute what you can do is simply print a toast that indicates that well the items were added successfully so for making a toast I have simplified things for you there's a class called l.java if you open that there's a static void s method that takes a context takes a string message and displays a toast so I'm gonna use that here by saying l.s for the context if I pass this that's gonna be a big problem because currently you're inside my task you wanna pass a reference of the main activity which is your outer class for that you can say main activity dot this get a reference to the outer class object then here in the message I can say all items were added successfully so things look pretty good now one more thing that we need to do is of course the most important thing we have just created and defined our task here we have not started it yet go to on create right below where you have set the adapter you can say new my task dot execute all you gotta do is call execute now since you have not taken any arguments here inside doing background you don't have to pass anything here just a blank execute will do the trick so everything is managed for you the creating the thread the handler everything else so let's run this and sh let me show you how this works. so at this point things start and well things are already full it says all items were added successfully even before you get a chance to scroll down so was it that fast let's make things a little more easier for us to understand if the items were added or not and you guys will also see some new features now one of the things that I would like to show you guys in this entire thing is about showing a progress bar can we actually have a progress bar here a determinate one which is gonna now since you know that this number of elements inside the text string array is fixed let's say there are a hundred items here so you wanna add each item and you wanna update the progress bar so how will we do that let's go and take a look now right before you call set content view here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say request window feature I'm say window dot feature progress in other words your activity has an inbuilt progress bar at the top right where your title is placed you can actually call that progress bar to be made visible and or you can say enabled I, in fact sorry it's not made to be made visible it's to be enabled you can enable that by saying request window for feature blah 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 but remember this must happen 
before you call set content view otherwise there's gonna be an error now the next thing that I want to do how many items are being added what is the current item number that is being added so when you see publish progress for the first time it's one then it's two then it's three so let's keep track of that by having a variable here saying private int count equals to zero so this counter will currently keep track of that so inside when you call publish progress it's gonna automatically call on progress update inside which you can increment your counter and you can keep track of what how many variables have been added now since I have already enabled the progress bar inside our app by saying request window feature what we want to do inside on pre execute before any of this background shit starts running we want to make that progress bar visible so for that I can say set progress bar indeterminate it should be indeterminate false because we have a definite number of items set progress bar visibility say true here and of course when everything is done we want to hide the progress bar again which means inside on post execute we can say set progress bar visibility false here so for this duration the progress bar is visible so inside on progress update you can set the progress of the progress bar by saying set progress and it's gonna ask you an integer so what number should you put here any ideas now the maximum number that this progress bar this is this request window feature blah 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 progress bar supports is actually 10,000 in other words at 10,000 the progress bar is completely full and at zero it's completely empty so we want to use the current value there's a number of current item number the total number of items in our array to somehow find a relationship with 10,000 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say I'm gonna do some basic mathematics over here I'm gonna say count divided by text dot length now of course this cannot be an integer division now think about it if text that is your array has hundred elements and say you're adding the first items so count is gonna be one here one divided by hundred is gonna be 0 0.01 now this multiplied by 10,000 will give you some number that is the perfect representation of what the progress bar should be so count divided by that should be actually in double so I'm gonna type cast this just part over here I'm gonna turn this into double so that integer division does not take place and it's very accurate now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply this whole thing by 10,000 over here and I'm gonna type cast the whole damn thing into an integer because set progress ultimately requires an integer so put a bracket here put a bracket at the end and before this bracket right here go and make this an integer so you guys are looking at all the brackets and you're like oh my god dude what the hell did you just do think about it there are hundred elements inside this array first I'm adding one element the progress is one divided by hundred then I'm adding another one progress is two divided by hundred three by hundred four by hundred and so on but the maximum value that your progress bar supports is 10,000 so 1 by 100 into 10,000 is say 0 0.01 into 10,000 which is nothing but 100 or something right it's actually 100 so that means first time set progress will be called this entire mathematics will become 100 second time it's 200 300 400 and so on so ultimately this progress bar will go from 0 to 10,000 as you add each item here using publish progress and that is why I have done some tricky mathematics over here and to keep things accurate I typecasted things to first double that is the division to double and then the whole thing multiplied by 10,000 and ultimately the entire answer typecasted to int over here also once I add an item I want to make the application sleep for some time so I'm gonna say thread dot sleep over here this is gonna put the app or the background thread inactive for some time I'm gonna say 200 milliseconds here it's gonna give an error so surround with a try cat statement and leave stuff as it. so at this point if you see everything looks great I know things have become big now but let's just run this and make you guys understand what I have done over here so now if you see one by one the items are added and notice the progress bar at the top ladies and gentlemen that's going pretty smooth the items are still getting added I'm scrolling down so every time one item gets added published progress is called and our thread sleeps for 200 milliseconds and ultimately it says all items were added successfully and the progress bar disappears this is why I wrote all this code to show you exactly 
how things work and how to use a progress bar while doing such stuff so let me just give you an overview of what I did first thing I had a string array over here then I called request window feature before calling set content view to enable a progress bar inside my activity which is displayed at the title section which you saw initialize the list view initialize the adapter but with an empty array list so that no items are present inside the adapter simply call the my task dot execute as soon as I write this what's gonna happen on pre execute gets called where I make the progress bar indeterminate no I make it determinate actually and then I could make the progress bar visible to others I also get the adapter here then doing background gets called which is gonna actually run inside the background thread since you have no arguments I've simply put a void here dot 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 params and inside this I have a for loop that iterates through each item inside our array array of strings over here so for each item I call publish progress pass that particular string here inside item and make that thread sleep for 200 milliseconds now when you call publish progress it's gonna automatically call on progress update where you will get all the string values but since you have only one here that is item it's actually values of zero that you're adding to your adapter increase the counter by one which is actually zero initially every time you process a new item counter increases counter by the total number of elements into 10,000 is some number which is the perfect progress bar value that you want to display here by calling set progress and ultimately when on post execute is called you pro hide the progress bar again and print a message indicating that everything was added successfully so this was a simple example of async task I know that is an irony in fact and in the next video we're gonna take a look at a more complex example in the meantime if you guys do like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below thanks for watching we'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day